sexual needs of the zodiac signs. Each sign of the zodiac has not only a set of behavioral and psychological techniques, but also their own sexual preferences, knowing that it is easy to seduce anyone. Aries. Aries are very sexy people. But make no mistake about them, they need romance just as much. One night stands and casual hookups are not for them. Most Aries regard new acquaintances as an interesting adventure. Uninhibited sex is acceptable for them only with a well-known and beloved partner. If Aries has found a permanent partner, he will not be afraid of the most daring sexual experiments, although for determination he can take a decent dose of alcohol. Aries will constantly tell you that you are irresistible. If a stranger compliments you on the street, you can be sure that it was the good old Aries who could not resist the innate instinct. Aries are attracted to physical beauty and reputation. They are also unable to resist a sharp intellect. You don't have to be a fashion model to catch the attention of an Aries, but you have to have something unusual and sexy about you. Aries must fall in love with a person before engaging in a relationship with him or her, although such a relationship can subsequently develop into a purely physical infatuation. Aries do not like to offend people, and sometimes it can seem that they are led by a partner. But if Aries follows his partner all the time, he will quickly get bored with such a relationship, and he will start looking for a new partner. Strange, but Aries can remain completely indifferent to sex and control their feelings. Aries love to be in control. If they feel that they are leading him, they can quickly cool off. If a partner turns on Aries sexually, then Aries' sexual appetite can be simply insatiable. And if not, then don't bother. You were probably attracted to the Aries partner by the movements of his lips and mouth. Aries know how to use their lips like no other. Their mouth constantly sends sexual signals. If Aries doesn't like you, then he can make you feel like a real invisible. You simply cease to exist for him. When drinking with Aries, keep a close eye on them. They may wink at you, but their behavior should not be taken as a sexual signal. Maybe it's just a nervous tick that's so hard to get rid of. Let's get down to specific details. Are Aries good or not? Yes, very, if you want to hear it. Only when they are in the mood, that's the truthful answer. Should add, that when an Aries doesn't want something, there's no way you can force them. It's just not possible. Aries need a warm and loving partner like them. They need a sexual partner. Sex plays a very important role in relationships for Aries. If a partner turns them on sexually, such a relationship will last a very long time. Play hard with Aries, wake up their curiosity, nothing helps to strengthen the relationship with them. The best partner for them will be the one who, just like them, boldly goes to experiments. If your idea of sex is limited to the marital bedroom, forget Aries. Planes, trains, cars, these are the perfect places to have sex with an Aries. If during lovemaking you do something that your Aries partner does not like, he will not fail to tell you about it, and in sufficient detail. But if you try to do the same, Aries and the trail will get cold. Sex with an Aries is not easy. To decide on this, you need to have a remarkable sense of humor. Taurus. Taurus needs a partner who will allow him to dominate. A dog-cat relationship doesn't suit him. From time to time, sparks can jump between partners, and this is not bad, it really enlivens communication in the bedroom. But Taurus will not tolerate constant reproaches and injections. They don't like it, and their partners need to understand that. Satisfying the demanding Taurus is quite difficult. Elderly Taurus are aware of this, but in their youth this is not given to them. The older Taurus gets, I advise you to wait, you won't regret it. The better his sex life becomes. Taurus is constantly experimenting and striving for something new, while other signs of the zodiac, let's not point fingers, are quite satisfied with repeating the past. Taurus can repeat themselves, but experiments for them are sweeter than honey and wine. For a couple who has stepped over 40, this approach is a real blessing. Are you married or living with a bored Taurus? Just say somehow casually that you would like to have sex in a boat, 
and you will immediately see how the mood of your ball will change. But don't expect your wish to come true somewhere in Sydney Bay. Tourists do not like to go far from home. You will most likely end up with toy boats in the bathroom. But don't worry, there will be enough candles around you. This sign likes to dominate in love. If Taurus assures you that this is not so, then he has not yet fully realized his own sexuality. This can only happen in the early stages of a relationship. But over time, Taurus simply has to reveal their true physical needs. If he does not do this, he will suffer and suffer, and your relationship will turn into real torture. Don't expect Taurus to tell you how much he loves you. This sign is expressed by actions, not words. Lovemaking for Taurus is an art, he takes pride in giving you pleasure. If not, don't cheat on him. Taurus is a very sexy sign. Sex for him is not only in the act itself, but also in the way he sits, crosses his legs, and also in the manner of dressing. By these signs, it is easy to guess how Taurus treats you. At the stage of romantic courtship, Taurus dresses in the latest fashion. Taurus with a broken heart is a sad sight. Now please don't misunderstand me. Remember that Taurus will not want to be with you all the time. It is you who must remember and think about him or her all the time. Slow, long, gentle kisses are a favorite pastime of Taurus. If you try to reject their advances, they won't make sexual contact, no matter how hard you try. It will not be difficult for Taurus to find a partner who will appreciate their caresses. Taurus are skillful and obscure lovers. They know how to please, cheer up, caress. But in return, you must repay them with love and obscurity. Remember that Taurus always needs attention. You must feel when you need to retreat. After all, Taurus will not say this, you will have to guess for yourself. And never rush or push your Taurus partner. The sexual needs of Taurus are very great, but they are able to satisfy any person with a healthy appetite for love. So if your partner is a Taurus, just relax and have fun. Gemini. After reading all of the above, you might think that in bed you will have to demonstrate the wonders of acrobatics to satisfy the fastidious Gemini, but this is not at all the case. Gemini wants to have a partner who will be ready to work with him to perfection in lovemaking and to do it in the most seductive way. It's not just about polished technique, although this is important, but rather about attention and warmth. Sex for Gemini is a way of life. They use sex appeal to get everything they want, in love, at work, and even from their friends. If this does not suit you, Gemini will be able to surround you with such attention and care that you will gladly forgive them anything. Gemini is able to achieve anything with a simple movement of a finger. Such people are able to flirt even with animals. When a Gemini enters a room, everyone feels the wind of change. Only a thick-skinned elephant can fail to notice this. Gemini literally radiate sexuality, although they themselves do not understand how they do it. At least that's how it seems to me. I tried many times to find out how they do it. You will never remember which of you started the conversation, but you will enter the conversation instantly. Geminis are notorious for attracting partners by insulting them. Gemini's straightforward approach to life does not allow them to lie. This does not mean that they cannot deceive their partner. I mean, they rarely succeed in lying. They say in huge letters, I just slept with your best friend. If they begin to lie, it becomes clear from the first word. Gemini are social beings. They will introduce you to such an abundance of people that you will definitely find someone in this circle who will suit you. Gemini do not suffer from excessive modesty and shyness. They are proud of their bodies. If, walking down the street, you accidentally looked into someone else's window and immediately looked away, or maybe not, because the owner of the apartment is walking around naked, you probably saw Gemini and you can be sure that your look did not embarrass him. Such a character trait can be quite uncomfortable if you live with a Gemini, and Aunt Prue has come to visit. The flip side of loving your own body is that Gemini doesn't need an emotional connection to have sex. Sex for such a person does not mean unconditional affection. Geminis go on and off like a light bulb, they don't have time for romantic nonsense. They love sex. 
He plays a very important role in a relationship. Gemini appreciates good sex, although they prefer it not to be associated with any obligations. You should not ask Gemini at 6 in the morning about what you should do now. Geminis love the quiet life and are not afraid to admit to watching late-night TV shows. They may well go to a noisy party after the movie is over. They like to talk about soap operas, as if these events are quite real. Don't be fooled by them. Try to always be frank with Gemini. Only in this way you dare to earn their respect and strengthen your relationship. And even if your relationship is limited to one night, although I know very well that I should not have to say this, you will remember this night for a long time. Don't get me wrong, I'm not pushing you into casual connections with Gemini. I am a Scorpio and I firmly believe that true love rules the world. But still, sex with Gemini brought a lot of pleasant minutes to many people. Cancer. For this sign of the zodiac, the main thing is safety. If you want your friend to consider getting into bed with you, feel free to tell him that you love him. Otherwise, such a thought simply does not occur to him. Cancerians would rather invite you to their place than come to your house. On their own territory, they feel more confident. If they do come to you, then, waking up in the middle of the night, you will find them in the kitchen having a cup of coffee with your neighbor discussing the problems of love life. Cancers are understanding and sympathetic lovers. They only need to say once about what you are used to and what you do not tolerate in your bedroom. They will immediately remember your words and next time they will try to give you maximum pleasure. They value attention, so don't think you can just lay on your back. You must give no less than you receive. If you are happy, then your partner will feel happy too. Cancerians need emotional feedback from a loved one. If you went to work unhappy, then God bless those with whom your partner works. Cancers spread anguish like wildfire. They do not hesitate to tell others that they are not in the mood today. For them, it's completely natural. Just try to hide your emotions from your cancer lover, and you will run into serious trouble. Your lover will be able to make your life just a nightmare, because he himself will feel miserable. Gloomy cancer will longingly look at how you have fun at the party. I assure you, your fun will not last long. If you offend cancer or make him unhappy, this wound will not heal quickly. Cancer is a fighter and will try to fix the situation first. Since you can never be completely sure what lies behind that dazzling smile, why not try another compliment? There will be no harm from this, and the benefits can be very large. Love and sex go hand in hand. It's not often that you find a cancer caught up in a relationship that doesn't affect him emotionally, except that alcohol is to blame. Don't forget that cancer can get drunk from the very first glass. Don't be jealous if your adorable cancer flirts with your friends and girlfriends. You can always rely on him. If he flirts, then he just decided to support someone emotionally. In fact, if people born under this sign were not distinguished by increased passion, I would recommend that they become priests. They are able to listen to a confession and keep a secret, while satisfying their own curiosity. Don't forget to give, and you will be rewarded a hundredfold, wow, I myself spoke like a priest. But if you are selfish in love games, then it's better to pack your bags right away. Making love with cancer is so pleasant and refined that it is simply impossible not to respond to this seducer in the same way. He deserves love and support. Leo, no matter how long it takes you to put yourself in order, by the time Leo arrives, you should look impeccable, which includes the readiness to immediately jump out of bed. Leo appreciates partners, it doesn't matter, for life or for one night, who are able to take care of themselves. Please don't forget about it. Leo, even in a depressed state, will never lower the bar. Life for Leo is love, sex and relationships. These three elements are inseparable. Relations without sex very quickly get bored with Leo. If the situation is not changed in time, he will try to find another partner for himself. Even young Leos are constantly pushing the relationship to the next stage. They are called by the spirit of adventure and healthy adventurism. And it's not an insult. No matter how beautiful you are and what a good person you are, 
Once a young Leo has learned the life lesson that you could teach him, he will immediately rush to the next one. Leos are not afraid to make love in public places. Passion for fun and adventure outweighs the desire for peace and solitude. Leo always prefers to be outside rather than inside, but high demands do not decrease here either. Dusty corners are not for proud lions. And what can be said about the offended Leo? It doesn't take much imagination to imagine a wounded lion. Resentment, coldness, the use of sex as a weapon, all this will be put into action. And at such a moment, the relationship can be interrupted. Do not offend Leo if you do not want to be punished. Leos are always aware of their attractiveness. His heart is open to a worthy person. Do not think that you will have time to escape by offending or humiliating Leo. Don't try to get him to play your sex games or you'll get into a war you can't end. Your relationship is so wonderful that it's not worth risking it. Imagine that you are having lunch with your Leo at Aunt Mavis's. Everything is decent and beautiful, and in a few minutes you are already making love among the yellow daffodils in your aunt's garden. This is only possible with Leo, and don't blame Leo for forgetting your umbrella, better take yours. If you're romantically involved with a Leo, you're unlikely to have complaints about the bedroom, or not the bedroom, but some other nook. Leo is very romantic, so do not be afraid that for him your relationship is limited only to bed. Before deciding to have sex, Leo must find you attractive and suitable for a partner. And don't try to emerge victorious from a quarrel. The stubborn Leo will still force you to submit, otherwise the matter may end in a break that will not please either of you. Be as proud of your sexy Leo as he or she is of you. Just remember that it will be much more difficult for you to hunt a lion than it is for him to hunt you. Virgo. Virgos are not afraid to tell their partners what they want from love, and it can even be scary. It is very nice when you are told that you are good in bed, but the Virgo, without hesitation, will tell you where and in what you made mistakes. They can easily make a table and graph and pin him to the bedroom wall. Virgos are not distinguished by delicacy. Sexual life with Virgo is full of joys. Virgos love sex. If you notice signs of cooling in your Virgo partner, be sure to ask what the matter is. The fact is that the difficulties experienced by the Virgin affect all aspects of her life. These people just don't know how to deal with trouble. If your lover suddenly became cold, it is quite possible that this was due to the fact that he did not get the promotion he wanted at work, and not your fault. On a first date, you might think that Virgo, as the name of this sign implies, is chaste, but this is very far from the truth. A calm woman with glasses is dying to let her long hair down and show you sexy lingerie worn under a business suit. But don't get too excited. She saves the most important thing for the one she loves, and does not give herself to the first comer. As a rule, Virgos draw their knowledge from literature about sex, as representatives of this sign love to learn from books. And what they learned from books, Virgos boldly experience in practice. Treat Virgo well, and she will treat you even better, and then every night will turn into a real holiday for you. Libra. Most of all, Libra in a sexual sense needs the full attention of a partner. Don't look at others, and why do you need it, if next to you is such a magnificent lover as Libra? Libra understands the needs of the opposite sex so well that it is simply impossible not to choose them. The word, sex, Libra always write with a capital letter. Life for them is a constant sexual competition, both in business and in personal life. Flattery and charm allow him to win the most terrible reputation. But Libra loves to care more than bring things to bed. Libras will not throw themselves into bed with just anyone, unless you manage to convince them of your own exclusivity. Libra knows how to give and receive love, but in their hearts they are constantly tormented by doubts about their own sexual attractiveness. Libra is vital to flirt, they just cannot stop. This is their way of life. But I want to remind you once again to reassure you, they very rarely allow feelings to take precedence over obligations. If they are married, you can be sure of their love. Libra will love you like no one has ever loved, 
Hope you are good with your hands. Libras love leisurely massages, hugs and kisses, long lovemaking. With sensual Libra, you should not immediately take the bull by the horns. Libras want their partners to always look great. You will definitely have to remove hair on the legs and along the bikini line, paint toenails, follow the hairstyle and manicure. And not only for girls, the joke is old, but it makes sense. Don't be surprised if your Libra lover offers to have sex in the middle of the day. The time of day does not play any role for him, the main thing is the atmosphere and mood. Just make sure you're not in the office, or at least lock the office door. And do not make love on a fax, it will not benefit the device. Be truthful with your lover, otherwise he may turn away from you. Libra can't stand lies. Keep your promises, even if it's just a back massage. Libra does not forgive deceit, even in small things. Be ready to fulfill any fantasy of your partner, be his advisor, poet, massage therapist and, of course, a lover. Libras love to be pampered, so don't stay late at work. Trust me, you will be repaid a hundredfold, and you will not regret the effort expended. There is no happier person in the world than Libra, who has found a loving and reliable partner. And for him, Libra will do everything in their power to take him to the seventh heaven. Scorpio. For Scorpio, there are no prohibitions in sex. For him, the most important thing is to fulfill himself sexually and mentally. Marriage or relationships without sex do not exist for him. Scorpio is very persistent, and if he or she doesn't feel welcome 24 hours a day, they feel uncomfortable. On the other hand, an overly self-confident Scorpio can literally kill his unfortunate partner with incredible demands and unbridled imagination. Scorpios have one remarkable trait, of course, there are many good traits in them, but this one is a rarity, they know how to keep secrets and do not inform the whole world about what they have achieved. A lady in public and a whore in bed is a typical Scorpio, and rightly so not only in relation to women. Your Scorpio friend may ask you about your sex life, but do not wait for reciprocal revelations. And if you hear, then do not rush to believe. Sometimes Scorpios are seized by real megalomania, and since they are not going to tell you the truth, you may be considered a liar. The tactic is somewhat unusual, but quite effective. Scorpio perceives every new relationship as an adventure. He is even able to radically change his lifestyle if his new partner wants it. For Scorpio, a beautiful face and a harmonious body are very important, but physical attractiveness is just a seed. Sex without true love for Scorpio is unthinkable. If relationships are built on a purely physical basis, they will not last long. Massage, subdued candlelight, champagne, these are the necessary accessories for great sex with a Scorpio. Don't forget about Valentine's Day, about the anniversary of the first kiss, the only way to impress this incorrigible romantic who will never agree to be satisfied with little. He needs everything, and this means that in bed you will have time to talk about life, love and work. Such conversations for Scorpio are true love, but he must be careful not to take the relationship too mundane, which is detrimental to his own love. A passionate date on a secluded beach is good, but when night falls, it's better to get under the roof. Scorpios need to learn to stop. Sagittarius. Now you want to know what to expect from this sign in the bedroom. And this is your main mistake. The bedroom is not the most favorite place for representatives of fiery signs, Sagittarius is easily excited, he is unpredictable. Night under the stars seems to him much more attractive than silk sheets. This sign has incredible energy. When Sagittarius says he wants to stay with you all night, he means all night. This is not empty talk. So that you are not mistaken about him, I will say that quality is much more important for Sagittarius than quantity, including in relation to sex. Endurance is a good thing, but Sagittarius needs much more. Sagittarians pay attention to physical attractiveness, but most of all they are drawn to intelligence. Sagittarius wants to be in love with whoever they sleep with, but they just can't get enough. 
I'm afraid that a one-night stand for this sign is not uncommon. Sagittarians are not selfish, quite the contrary. If you fall in love with a Sagittarius, immediately let him know that you will not tolerate polygamy in any case. If you don't tell him, he just won't know. Sagittarius is like a child who is ready to eat all the sweets from a huge bag, and then declare that he was not forbidden to do this, and if he got sick, then this is all the fault of nasty adults. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, an ever-expanding planet. Sagittarians constantly strive for self-improvement and set new high goals. They rarely return to former partners, because they are always looking forward. If they return to their former love, it will be only in order to set new, higher standards for themselves next time. Variability is their motto, at least you won't have to be jealous of their former partners. Sagittarians are big individualists. In their sexual life, there are many prohibitions. A one-night stand does not scare them, but for a more serious relationship, Sagittarius wants to have a partner whom he can completely trust. Sex plays a very important role for Sagittarians. They are ready to give a lot to their loved ones. Sagittarians are generous and considerate. They are constantly tormented by doubts, despite outward confidence. Try not to offend Sagittarius so that he does not feel abandoned and alone. Troubles start small, but grow very quickly. If the fire sign begins to boil, it is better not to be near it. If you want to maintain a good relationship with a Sagittarius, you must be romantic. You will immediately know what your partner wants, because Sagittarians talk about sex completely freely. They have great stamina, with such a partner in bed you will not get bored. Even when you think it's over, all you have to do is say, more, and it will all happen again. Passionate lovers by nature, deep down Sagittarians want to possess a partner completely in the most romantic sense of the word. And don't forget about their variability. What suits Sagittarius sexually today may not be useful at all tomorrow. These people want to fully explore their feelings. If they seem cold to you, don't worry. Sagittarius will not stay with you if he does not want to, he just needs to constantly analyze everything that happens in his life. Allow him this little weakness, he simply cannot live without her, she's in his blood. Sagittarians can be quite awkward, they need another sign to balance them. Treat Sagittarius with warmth, and he will reward you handsomely. Just don't play with sex and don't use sexual relationships as a weapon. Sagittarians do not like this, they can pack up their things and leave. They prefer passionate passionate love to stable, long-term relationships, but this need is easily satisfied even after a few years of true love. Sagittarius is always striving to conquer new horizons and explore new territories. Capricorn. Capricorns love to indulge in love slowly, with sense, feeling, arrangement. Love is serious business. Capricorns consider themselves a great value and will not allow anyone to meddle in their personal world. For Capricorn, sex is a very important matter. Some of them use sex to understand people and how to get him to do something. However, as soon as they get burned, they run to mommy and daddy, ready to marry the neighbor's beauty. Do not expect them to awaken the spirit of adventurism. If there is work to be done, it must be done well, and there is no need to hammer nails into the wall while balancing on the washing machine. Unless everything will be thought out in advance and the necessary precautions will be taken. You have probably heard rumors about the incredible endurance of Capricorns in a sexual sense. It is difficult to say whether this is true or not, but I myself have repeatedly heard such statements. In any case, Capricorn is a wonderful lover. There is no limit to perfection, and Capricorns hone their love technique for hours, striving to achieve the ideal. They don't follow the beaten track. On the first date, you might think that they are not interested in sex at all. This is wrong, and in the bedroom, Capricorns are much better than you think. So, we already know how serious Capricorn is, but we also know that he has charm and charm. If you want to know how he feels about flirting, I can assure you that Capricorn loves and is great at flirting. The perfect flirt, you say, not as perfect as wonderful sex. Nothing is forbidden for Capricorns. If necessary, 
They will quietly sleep with the boss, although I can't say for sure that this will not be personal. Subconsciously, Capricorns are drawn to diversity. They are not deceivers by nature, and if they cheat, they do it only out of natural curiosity. Maybe I shouldn't tell you this, but I will. Many Capricorns have told me that in their dreams they make love to a person under the watchful gaze of someone else. Deep down, Capricorns want their qualities to be appreciated, and appreciated by the highest mark. Sex on a pile of money is their cherished fantasy, unless the money is too crumpled. Capricorns are good at sending mixed signals. They always leave themselves an escape route. They make great politicians. If your plans differ from those of your Capricorn partner and you are not going to change them, it is better to pack your things right away. Capricorns are charming but very selfish. They do not tolerate self-will. They love their family, especially their mother. If you want to win the heart of Capricorn, make friends with his family. Capricorn is allowed to make remarks about his family, but this is strictly forbidden to you. Arrogant, yes, powerful, yes, erotic, yes, make up your own mind before embarking on the exciting yet challenging journey that this amazing sign has to offer. Aquarius, my words may sound strange to you, but they are true. Aquarians prefer dark-haired partners. They love those around whom there is an aura of mystery, and blondes seem to them too simple-hearted and ordinary. They do not like it when any thought of a partner can be read on his face. They want your secrets to be revealed to them slowly and gradually. A mask and a semi-darkened room are already too much, but to captivate Aquarius at a masquerade is easy. Like all air signs, Aquarians know exactly what their interlocutor wants to hear. They also know what not to say. The only danger in communicating with Aquarians is not going to bed with them too quickly. They will try to get close to you on the first date, but they really don't like it when their desires are succumbed too quickly. This is just an exam, so take your time. The problem is that the first date for you can be the culmination of six months of suffering, worries, flirting and flattery. Unfortunately, Aquarius does not notice courtship. This is completely normal and natural for him. Therefore, on a first date, your partner will assume that this is just an acquaintance. It's better to talk about sex, but you should never do it after the first date. Only then will your phone ring in the following weeks. Aquarians are very confident people with a powerful sex appeal. It is easy for them to find a partner. Although Aquarians are somewhat old-fashioned in regard to life and home, in terms of sex they are advanced users. Unpredictable, ready for change, demonstrative and natural, they are able to prove their love in all available ways. Aquarius lovers are very happy, but don't be fooled. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't waste your time. Once you enter into a physical relationship with an Aquarius, your life will change forever. Aquarius will give you his love and will not be afraid to talk to you about plans for the future. Do not rush to make promises that you are not going to keep. And if Aquarius does not keep his promises, do not be offended. This is because he is always looking to the future and does not always remember the present. When the time comes to fulfill the promise, Aquarius is already embraced by new, global and very erotic ideas. So wait and don't complain. Sexually, Aquarians are always looking for variety. They want their partners to boldly tell them about their dreams and desires. Be open. Half of what Aquarius talks about is just words, but think about the other half. Pisces. So, you've managed to get this wonderful sign, one of the sexiest signs of the zodiac, into a frenzy. Pisces have a penchant for drama and are able to turn the most ordinary and ordinary place into a mysterious and romantic one. These are not ordinary people. It is necessary to win their heart very carefully so that this fish does not slip away. Pisces do not like purely sexual relationships, they need something more. Pisces love to impress people. They like to flirt and compliment and then sit back and watch what comes of it. This behavior is very easy to misunderstand, which can lead to misunderstanding and embarrassment. 
Pisces do not strive for this at all. But nevertheless this often happens and this should be avoided, both by the Pisces themselves and those who surround them. Sex is a very personal matter for Pisces. They can show their sympathy in public, but nothing sexual. They like to create an aura of mystery around themselves and never put their cards on the table. They dislike familiarity, especially from those they don't know well enough. Before moving on to sexual relations, Pisces must feel sincere love. Although they love dramatic twists, in reality, feelings and sincerity are most important to them. This does not mean that you can quickly see through your Pisces partner. Pisces in love is very difficult to understand. It is even more difficult to predict its behavior. Pisces can plan a wedding, but if on the day of the ceremony it seems to her that she hastened, she simply will not come to church. Be somewhat old-fashioned, take care of your fish. Pretend that you are in an old black and white movie, look at the fish with loving eyes. Don't try to be too smart, but don't get carried away with stupid jokes either. Pisces are very attentive to what people think of them and will not want their name to be associated with the name of a local fool. I already told you that Pisces are incredibly ardent, but at the same time they can remain completely cold. Did you understand? Everything is very simple. In front of friends and relatives it is one person, and behind closed doors it is completely different. You only have to convince him of the sincerity of your feelings, and the trick is in the bag. When the lights are out, the candles are lit, and the door is locked, the cold fish disappears and the passionate animal appears. Tell at least a word to friends or relatives, and you can forever say goodbye to your own happiness. Fish want to be bitten gradually. This also applies to you. Even after 10 years, Pisces will still have a trump card unknown to you, but that's good, right? Pisces do not forgive infidelities. Betray them and they won't want to stay near you. A deceived lover will turn your life into a nightmare. Several engagements are not uncommon for Pisces, they often enter into passionate but short-lived relationships. Actress Drew Barrymore married a man she had only known for a week to divorce him instantly. Pisces needs lovers who are sensitive but ready to dominate. Don't know how to combine these two qualities. Don't worry, Pisces will teach you. Fish quickly light up and cool down just as quickly. These are not the most comfortable partners in marriage. Pisces may forget that there are other people in the world, but their heart will always be given to you. The fish will be able to lift you to such a height that you could not even dream of.